I'm Richard Kaysen with the Wednesday Report. I don't guess anyone realistically expected the 2020 presidential election to be decided on election night the way it used to be. Of course not. After grabbing by the female parts didn't work. After Russian collusion didn't work. After the lamest attempt at impeachment didn't work. Here comes this virus out of China. Most likely man-made. Now, which of the two candidates has made a lot of money with China over the years? Just a little food for thought. Whether there was or is an actual quantifiable pandemic or not is debatable. The media always exaggerates, you know that, makes for a better story. And more fear. The Democrat House of Representatives, Democrat-controlled cities and states through their surrogates in the media assured you that you will die if you don't do every single thing they say and that included voting by mail much safer than going to a dirty polling place where people probably aren't measuring their social distance or wearing a mask huh just vote by mail and stay at home what don't know who to talk to about getting a ballot mailed to you no problem we'll just send you some as many as you need how many pets do you have Know any undocumented residents? Got any dead people under your crawl space there, Gacy? Sign them up! Around 2 a.m. Eastern Time this morning, President Trump spoke in the East Room of the White House, saying that he had anticipated this exact scenario. Democrats had urged states to adopt vote by mail, ostensibly to prevent the risk of coronavirus transmutation in polling places. The New York Post reports that ballots have been mailed in to the New York City Board of Elections in the name of dead voters, such as Frances Reckow, who was born in 1915. She would be 105 today, except she died eight years ago. Nevertheless, she requested a mail-in ballot, filled it out, and returned it. How about good old Gertrude Nizere, born in 1919? She'd be 101 today, except she died in 2016. She also requested an absentee ballot, filled it out, and returned it. And as of this recording, the counting of Fulton County, Georgia's absentee ballot count will be delayed due to a burst water pipe. I'm sure while they're repairing that busted water pipe, they're going to find a bunch of absentee ballots, about 300,000, all for Biden. You watch. Are you stupid or what people it's called stuffing the ballot box the democrats hatch the vote by mail scheme they're trying to stuff as many ballots as they can before they get caught and they're trying to steal an election i mean is it any coincidence that jfk's running mate just happened to be from a state where all the border counties in texas had the highest voter turnout rate from beyond the grave would you get with the program already? There are far too many documented cases of Democrat voter fraud, specifically with absentee ballots to list here. But stealing elections is what the Democrats do. And that's what they're trying to do right now. Duh. Join me on the Richard Kaysen Radio Network every Monday night at 11 Eastern, 10 Central. First hour is free on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and other platforms. Join the Dollar Club for just a dollar a month at patreon.com slash Richard Kaysen for both hours. And it's official. Richard Kaysen Radio Network merchandise, t-shirts, mugs, yoga pants, and even face masks. It's Richard Kaysen online.com.